into the Christmas vortex. The end of the year is nigh. Oh, it's that time of year. <sighs> Which I love to hate. But anyway, um, so tonight wasn't much of a night. Just uh, um, a fire in a very remote part of the woods next to the river where firefighters really couldn't get to it very well. It had to burn for a long time. It was a brush fire. And then a, a house fire, which may have, may have been set possibly by vagrants. So, And we're getting ready for... The end of the week, which is Christmas. Woohoo! Just did some hot smith shopping. Now I'm having my lunch. Xmas. couple of nights like last night I came straight in <clears throat> went to a homicide all the way up in the Northland and uh, that was an all-night ordeal and then uh, tonight came in and uh, there was a strip mall fire way down south on Bannister and then in 59th and uh, Ward Parkway and the guy the person was not seriously hurt they just went off the road and rolled over which is sad in itself but at least they're okay <laughs> It has been a long week today. People are killing each other for Christmas. Lovely, isn't it? Two homicide scenes. <sighs> what can you do? I'm gonna go have some coffee. It's turning out to be a beautiful morning. Coffee. 
have to admire the art. yet again and I'm doing the same thing I did last year I know I looked it up we're doing the live stream and I forgot about the yellow box I'm not using that this time but I'm trying out these wireless transmitters my source is this camera way out here in the middle. There's my internet. <coughs> hey, how you doing? It's still Christmas Eve, almost Christmas Day, probably about eight minutes till. And uh, we haven't gotten our stuff done. The stream went well, by the way. It looked beautiful. It sounded good. I had good coverage. Not the best shooter, but... Um, so, no complaints about that. Uh, the uh, Hollyland worked well. I was having trouble with it when I was using it with the TVU. Then I realized it's a bit sensitive to RF interference. So what is a TVU but a big box of RF inter interference so I think that the receiver was too close to the TVU and when things were getting warmed up then it started getting interference so I'm uh, I gotta get gas and then uh, head home you know um, hope I don't run into Santa being naughty out and about in the middle of the night but <coughs> My, my wish, my, my gift list, if Santa could bring it, is just peace in the world, I guess. And uh, help for friends and family and everyone else in the Philippines has been affected by that typhoon. Bad timing for that kind of storm. Anyway, got to get gas. Pick that one, Luke, I guess it's that time. Santa, well, right. look at what Santa brought us. I'm just going to put him here, here, here. Right now. And 
skin the first one. No, 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 don't force it. So now we can drive our neighbors crazy. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Was it Saya's name in there? Yeah, her name was on it, but the okay. thing fell off. But what? Can I see it, Ty? God. What is that, Luke? Wow! That. What? Whoa! It is a nice art kit. Let me look. Let, at let, 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 let me open it. Do you know how to open it? Okay. The other side. Uh, other side. Open the other it. side. Oh, oh, oh my god! That's a lot of color! Luke, did you really get that, Luke? I did not ask for this, but I got it. And you love it? Yes! Yeah, it looks like Santa shops at Costco. I think so. Seems like everything is in Costco. You two are species. I need some scissors. No, Alright. Like, oh, wow. Ah. Like, That's a lot. A makeup. Ooh, oh, makeup. Ooh. Makeup. That's a lot. Makeup. <laughs> Jimmy's got a toy, a present. Oh boy, look at that. Jimmy, you gonna open it? Open for <coughs> Jim Zach. Oh, look at Zach. Zach is giving his Jim Jim a present. <laughs> Jimmy, you got a present. He's like, this is yours, Jimmy. Is that yours, Jim? This was hard to wrap. And it's hard to unwrap. Yeah, Zach wrapped it. Well, wow. I wrapped it well. You really wrapped it well. Wow, Jim Jim! You got a ball? You got a ball, Jim Jim! You Thank you, him. Zach! Oh, I got something for Luke and the... Go get, oh, get it! Not yet, not yet. Not Go get yet. it! Go get it! Hey! <laughs> And here's a present from Carrie. When they were opening it, I didn't know who it was from or what it was, and now I do. Thank you very much, Carrie. It's really nice. Right. So we got our loot here. Our what? Loot. So Jimmy is happy with his. There's Zach's loot. You know what this is? What? I don't know. Zach, open this one. <laughs> and then Luke's stuff. Bring it on your area. Yeah. Lunch bag, yeah. I think I should write my name on the back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see what it looks like inside. All right. Luke, better order a window. I am the minion. Oh my god, are you really shooting the camera here? <laughs> this is funny. I don't know why it's in here, but it's for you. <laughs> Oh, I know what that is. <coughs> ah. <laughs> I hate to say what those are used for. So I won't. Is, and this is for you also. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Just what I needed. Hopefully they fit. And we have one last thing. The Whatever last this but not the least. monstrosity the is. monstrous drum set that for Rushan for asked for. He, 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 but all the three of you will share. I did already. No, no listen to it with So, that. there's the drums. And, and press this thing. And we can it. only hear a little tap, tap, tap. So that's nice. I'm going to regret right. this decision. Middle of the sea. I'll stay on the world. To find you. Happy St. Stephen's Day. Not my day, but St. Stephen's. Also Boxing Day in England and Canada. Canada da, 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 da. And spent the past couple days since Christmas Eve just resting and recuperating. And, and uh, now I'm going out because <clears throat> I was watching Traveling Robert. And he did an episode where he went and s to the original Buffalo Wings, the Anchor Bar in, in Buffalo, New York, 
Blaise in 1964. I'm going to butcher the name. Teresa Bellissimo invented buffalo wings. And she had um, nothing in her kitchen prepared. It was late at night, and her son had had some friends come over, and they got hungry. So they asked, it was like around midnight, they asked if they could eat something, and he asked her if she could fix something, and she went, and all she had was um, these extra large wings that she didn't know what to do with, because, you know, they had wings, and they all they did with them was put them in soup stock and things like that. And um, then um, she had some of this spicy sauce, and she put it on the wings. She fried the wings up, put the sauce on the wings, and served it with blue cheese. Ugh, I hate blue cheese. Ugh. And celery. And they say, what was it, after midnight and... 1964, I forget the date, buffalo wings were created. People just kept coming in and asking for them, and so they finally put them on the menu, and it spread from there. So I was reading that, and now I've decided I want to go get some of the best wings in Kansas City, and in my opinion, which would be controversial, you find those at a place called The Peanut which is a local bar, which is now, I'm going up to the one up here up north. Um, and uh, I guess this local bar's notoriety, claim to fame, was it started out as a speakeasy, which means that it was an illegal underground bar, probably during Prohibition in the 1930s. And has been doing stuff ever since. So I ordered online. I'm going up here to the peanut here in the Northland. This isn't the one that was the speakeasy. So, woohoo! Here's our Northland peanut, and I forgot the parking lot is full because a local sports team is playing. And if I go in there while well, they're playing and watch the game, they'll lose. So, better not. Got the wangs. Hopefully, I ordered them under Stella, which is our dog. So, maybe these are our dog's wings. You gotta watch the flag. I gotta get out of here. They're gonna start losing. Okay, fine. So, I didn't explain that very well. When we order these online, apparently I ordered them under, under Stella Swoboda, which is my internet name, but it's actually my dog, Stella. So, they said, we don't have your order yet. And then, could it be under another name? And then, yeah. Oops. <laughs> How about some YouTube music? And uh, I was like, yeah. And I thought it would be under my wife's name, but actually, Stella? And I'm like, uh, is there somebody you know named Stella? And I was like, yeah, that's my dog. And she's like, is that your, like your online name? I said, yep. <laughs> So anyway, mm. all right, well, I had to get out of there because I think the team is winning, but if I hang out there and watch any of it, they'll start losing really bad. So <laughs> it's the, the reverse miracle. Yeah. And then all my neighbors would be pissed off, and I don't want pissed off neighbors, so. I'm here picking up Rub-A-Dub Grub for the missus at her favorite restaurant. I really like this taint time of year between the big day of Xmas and new, new beers. I like it because um, everything is so relaxed. I mean, the stress is over with and people want to spend time with their family and friends and things are open and you can just enjoy the time so yeah all right got the grub I was being asked what this was in my my little Osmo pocket and uh, I was telling her she didn't understand at first I said well I do video vlogging 
and and then I showed her the camera and everything and then she was like oh that's neat and, and what do you do this for are you professional I said well I, I do I do stuff professionally yeah but that's not why I do this I do this for fun I said really I said yeah I, I do video blogging then I put my stuff on YouTube but then she understood she said oh okay and then she was like uh, do you have a lot of fans do you have a lot of uh, a lot of followers I said no no that's why I'm doing it for fun I, I don't have a lot of fans or followers I said, oh and I said yeah if I had a lot of fans or followers I might actually be making money on YouTube but I'm not so woohoo well at midnight I'm gonna be working so I better get home and get this stuff at and take a few hours nap and it's, it's always rough for me, this transition between Sunday and Monday. Uh, because it's just like, it's hard to go from one, one schedule to the other. And everybody I talk to says the same thing. They have a hard time. They're always tired on Monday when you work the overnight shift. But I'll survive. So that's what I'm doing next. <laughs>